The dentist provides either opposing full arch impressions and a bite, or models and a bite, plus the shade for the restoration. Pour up and articulate the models. If the tooth to be replaced is still on the model, carefully remove the tooth from the model, the same as when you prepare for an immediate denture. Carefully check that adequate space is available on the adjacent abutment teeth for the bondable retention wings of the aesthetic temporary or provisional restoration, so they do not interfere with the opposing dentition. Select the appropriate mold and shade of denture tooth for the restoration. Grind and finish the denture tooth to fit. Check fit and occlusion. A groove is cut in the denture tooth to receive the bondable E-fiber. If you find that the most available space is near the cingulum of the abutment teeth, you may wish to cut the groove as an arc or semicircular. Place the tooth on the model and draw the position of the groove prior to cutting the preparation. Position the prepared denture tooth on the cast and make a putty matrix to hold the tooth in position on the cast. Wax may be used to hold the tooth in position during this procedure. Paint a small amount of adhesive in the groove of the denture tooth. Measure the length of the bondable e-fiber that will be needed. Dental floss or wax rope both work well. Using sharp scissors or a scalpel, cut the proper length of e-fiber. Repackage the unused fiber inside the protective foil. Remove the e-fiber from the clear silicone package. Protect the e-fiber from light or heat. Place the e-fiber in the groove of the tooth. It is easy to bend the e-fiber to the correct position. A small amount of pressure on the wing areas of the e-fiber will widen the e-fiber and provide a greater surface area for bonding to the adjacent teeth. Check fit and occlusion. To eliminate any possibility of the e-fiber moving during light curing, it is recommended that two people complete the next step. One to hold the fiber in proper position with a hand instrument, and a second to cure the fiber with a handheld light. Light cure the fiber. Again, check fit and occlusion. Remove the cured e-fiber from the tooth. Place a small amount of flowable composite in the groove in the tooth. Position the e-fiber in the flowable composite and use an instrument to secure the e-fiber fully within the groove of the dentured tooth. Hold the e-fiber in position with a hand instrument. Place additional flowable composite over the e-glass fiber and then fully cure with a handheld curing light. It is often easier to have a second person assist in holding the material in place when light curing. Again, check fit and occlusion. Adjust the restoration with silicone cutter polishers and polish using the e-fiber polish and the small goat's hair brush. For best results, use a small amount of the polish and run the handpiece at slow speed with very little pressure. If you wish to add tooth colored acrylic to either the facial or lingual surfaces of the denture tooth, first lubricate the cast. Paint a small amount of bonding adhesive on the areas of the tooth to receive the self-cure acrylic. Using self-curing tissue shaded acrylic resin, add the desired resin to the tooth. Send the bondable aesthetic temporary or provisional restoration to the dentist with a copy of the bonding instructions. An additional option is to cut back the putty matrix so the dentist may use it as a bonding matrix to hold the restoration in place during bonding.
permamesh is an extremely strong, thin, opaque, e-glass fiber mesh that is impregnated with PMMA and may be wet or activated with either BIS-GMA or a thin mix of PMMA for reinforcement and bonding. There are many additional uses of e-fiber and perma-mesh. Non-metallic Maryland bridges. Reinforced temporary or provisional bridges. Reinforced TMJ splints. Reinforced sleep apnea appliances. Reinforced and bondable orthodontic appliances. Quick, easy, and strong repairs of full and partial removable dentures. Strong, bondable, reinforced inlay, onlay bridges. Reinforcement or strengthening of new full and partial removable dentures. Reinforced flippers, reinforced bruxism appliances and night guards, intraoral direct bonded periodontal splints, occlusal, lingual, or labial. Reinforced overdentures, pedodontic space maintainers.